Welcome to the midweek message. We're taking some lessons from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and I'm going to be reading verses 15 through 22 from the New American Standard Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15. That which has been already and that which will be has already been, for God seeks what has passed by. Furthermore, I have seen under the sun that in the place of justice there is wickedness, and in the place of righteousness there is wickedness. Then I said to myself, God will judge both the righteous man and the wicked man, for a time for every matter and for every deed is there. I said to myself concerning the sons of men, God has surely tested them in order for them to see that they are but beasts. For the fate of the sons of men and the fate of beasts is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. Indeed, they all have the same breath, and there is no advantage for man over beast, for all is vanity. All go to the same place, all came from the dust, and all return to the dust. Who knows that the breath of man ascends upward, and the breath of the beast descends downward to the earth? I have seen that nothing is better than that men should be happy in his activities, for that is his lot. For who will bring him to see what will occur after him? Let's look at the verses individually. Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3.15, That which has been already and that which will be has already been, for God seeks what has passed by. He noted that there is a circular nature to life that cannot be abrogated. And the same thing tends to happen over and over again. History repeats itself. And that was a part of what fueled Solomon's understanding of life as a vain pursuit. It's just circular. What goes around comes around. It always does. Verse 16. Furthermore, I have seen under the sun that in the place of justice there is wickedness and in the place of righteousness there is wickedness. Further frustration uh, is found in that there is no place of pure justice. There is no place of true righteousness because sin has infiltrated even the best efforts of man. Verse 17, I said to myself, God will judge both the righteous man and the wicked man for a time for every matter and for every deed is there. Now, the... Uh, Nature of life is to be circular, and there's no place of pure justice and righteousness. But those things are in the hands of God. Try as we might, we will seek in vain for a human solution to those issues. I said to myself concerning the sons of men, this is verse 18, God has surely tested them in order for them to see that they are but beasts. Verse 19, for the fate of the sons of men and the fate of beasts is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. Indeed, they all have the same breath, and there is no advantage for man over beast, for all is vanity. And verse 20, all go to the same place. All came from the dust, and all return to the dust. Now, stopping right there, um, it can lead a person uh, to make the observation that there is no distinction between human life and the life of animals when we observe that uh, life is circular uh, in its nature and there's not anywhere that a person can find real goodness and real truth. And many people have reached the uh, conclusion that there is no difference between uh, humanity and the uh, rest of the created order. Indeed, there's no real created order at all because people and animals are basically the same. They all live and die in a circular um, type of life experience. And, and Solomon said, everything is vanity. And everybody goes to the same place, all people and people just as well as animals. So what's the difference? He throws up his hands. Verse 21, who knows that the breath of man ascends upward and the breath of the beast ascends downward to the earth? Who can really say, Solomon said, that there, that there is an afterlife and that everything's not just the same when this life has passed? Who knows that there's a difference between a man and if, if beasts have a soul, if there's any difference at all 
between the difference, uh, the soul of a man and the soul of a beast. And verse 22, this is his conclusion, a, a temporary conclusion, we might say, to this matter. I have seen that nothing is better than that man should be happy in his activities, for that is his lot, for who will bring him to see what will occur after him. None of us really knows what's going to be uh, the end result of our life's deeds and what's going to happen after we're gone. And so Solomon said, the best thing that you can do since you're going to die anyway, life is circular in motion. There is no ultimate truth. There's no place of real righteousness. And yet those things are in the hands of God. We're, we're clinging on uh, to, uh, to God in a, uh, in, in a, uh, to, to find meaning in our lives and, and uh, there's a grasping to, to find what is real and what is true, and, and that eludes us uh, in some extent, uh, particularly when we think of things from a humanistic standpoint. And so Solomon said, I just think the best thing that people can do is just try to be happy in their life uh, because that's the only thing they can do. They don't know what will happen in the future.